Greetings and salutations. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to light up an LED. But for this particular case, we're going to go ahead and use an RGB LED as opposed to a regular LED. So if you want to make your way to Tinkercad, which has taken over circuits.io, then you would like to take out an Arduino. And then we're going to go ahead and look for, let's take out a breadboard as well. We're going to go ahead and look for an LED RGB, and here it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and place the LED onto my breadboard. And so be sure that you place each of these pins from your LED into a separate row. So notice all these rows are in this in this orientation they look like columns, but if you notice all the rows are labeled numerically from 1 to 30. So be sure that you put each of these pins on your RGB LED into a separate row, not a column. And so I'm just going to go ahead and um, connect each of these two pins. This is the cathode, so the cathode is our ground, so we'll go ahead and connect it to our ground. So this is red. I'm going to go ahead and change this to red. Likewise, I'll change this to blue. And there's my green. So let's make our way to the code editor. I'm just going to go ahead and delete all of this. And first things first, we'll start with void setup. and then we'll include a void loop. <clears throat> so in your void setup, you can go ahead and uh, set each of those pins to outputs because they're going to be outputting information. Well, in this case, they're going to be outputting light. So let's go ahead and make sure that we have pin mode and the M is capitalized. So that's 11. We'll set it as an output all of which are capitalized. And let's go ahead and uh, just use our BFF, which is copy and paste. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste each one. And change the values. So now if I want to turn on a specific LED, I would simply say digital right with a capital W and then I would turn it high and if I wanted to turn it off I would put low however if I were to upload and run this code I'm not sure what would happen um, because right now at this point you have it on high and on low so the best thing to do is to put a delay in between let's say delay for a second and then same thing here delay for a second let's go ahead and upload and run should explode um, the reason it's exploding is because there's too much current going into the LED. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to use a resistor. So anytime you're working with LEDs, um, the best thing to do is limit the amount of current flowing through your LED by incorporating a resistor. So I'm going to go ahead and move all of these downward. And I'm going to go ahead and search for my resistor and the standard resistor value to use with um, LEDs is 220 ohms so let's change that to not kilo ohms but ohms and then I'll just do the same for each one of these
and now let's go ahead and upload and run it or in this case we'll start simulation and it should blink for one second turn off for one second and then blink again for another second so what we can do now is I stop the simulation so this is going to blink for one second and when the red light is on I want the blue light to turn on sorry and when the red light is on I want the blue light to turn off so we'll see how this works here there you go red blue red blue now let's try one more thing and let's just get ahead add a green here so I'm gonna stop the simulation I'm gonna go ahead and uh, include my green so it's gonna be off while the red one is on and then it's going to turn on sorry turn off while the blue one is on and then I'm just going to copy actually I'll copy and paste this entire section however in this portion the only thing that remains on is the green light so let's go ahead and turn this one off let's turn this one on let's run it and see what happens so red blue green excellent so that's how you flash your LEDs